This video is for foreigners who are planning to visit India. Here are a few tips by an Indian for our lovely tourists from around the world. First of all, we love our guest and it is our culture. Uh, we have a saying here which says Atiti Devo Bhava, a Sanskrit saying which means the guest is like a god. So that is the reason, that is the kind of level we uh, we respect our guests. So we obviously love our guests. So first thing that I would like to tell our foreign uh, future tourists is this. Now, also, I would like to tell you that be cool and tension free when you visit India. However, like any other place on the planet, you have to take care of your safety and health. You have to take care of your safety and health anywhere you go in the world. And there is no exception here in India. So no training for that. Use your common sense for that. Here are six tips for your visit to India. First, offering food is part of our culture. Learn to say N O no. Learn, you know, uh, just for your health, for the sake of your health and to respect the other person so that you don't sound rude. Learn to say no. Learn to lie a little bit because I also have a lot of friends and relatives who are uh, foreigners not Indian born and when they come to India uh, they get a lot of stomach problems because we have our culture of offering food so we think people not we but people who are elders they think that the same food that they make for their children uh, for their you know people they love they give the same food to people who come from outside and they think that it is good food, it is, but they don't know that you are not used to this, this kind of food. So I've seen myself a lot of people suffer when they eat food that their stomach is not used to. So when you come to India, obviously try the food. Do uh, I mean, I'm not saying that uh, when you eat Indian food, you will you will become ill. I'm not saying that. But a lot of uh, I would say 90 percent of the Indian kind of food may not be suitable for your stomach. So try to avoid say no uh, politely or you can say something like I'm on a fast today or I've already eaten so that you avoid any unnecessary uh, you know illness because of food because your stomach is not used to our food and uh, this can uh, affect your stay here you might not be able to enjoy if you're not feeling good so this is the first advice I would like to give you and the second thing is we have a plethora of religions communities languages customs across the nation so uh, and every 50 kilometers you go in India, and this is true, uh, every 50 kilometers you will see some different kind of people here. It's, it's nowhere in the world you will see this kind of diversity. Uh, normally when you go to a country, you will see the same kind of people. All right, there could be different people in different parts. But here in India, uh, I'll tell you an example. Like I, when I went to college, my college was around 35 kilometers away from my home. So I sp spent three years, obviously I used to go from, from my home to the college every day, but I spent three years in that college, the way I spoke became different because the college was in a different area. People used to speak a different way. Uh, they had a different tone of talking over there. So my tone became different. So that's the kind of difference we have in every 30, 50 kilometers. People speak in a different way. They eat in a different way. They dress in a different way. So why I'm telling you this thing is that you will see a lot of diversity. So don't assume uh, India, don't, uh, don't just make an assumption of India by meeting one family or one community. Enjoy, be open and enjoy the diversity. And next thing I would like to tell you is that we love when we see a foreigner dressed up like us or speaking our language. So uh, what I would suggest to you is that buy some local Indian costume and wear that and learn some local uh, local words. Obviously, we have a lot of languages, but I would like to say that if you learn about 10 to 20 Indian words, I'll make another video for that. If you learn those 10 to 20 Indian words, you can uh, go to any part of India and know that which word is spoken here and you speak that word, it will give you an emotional connect with that with that community, with those people. People love when a foreigner talks in their language, not talk, just say one word in their language. Just say a greeting in their language. They love it. The elders in India, they like people who dress, foreigners who dress like us or speak like us. Obviously, you don't have to uh, dress up for your whole journey here. But I'm just saying that 
just to connect emotionally with the people, this is a, a small tip that I would like to give you. Now, next advice is that beware of duplicate products. So buy stuff only from uh, branded stores. So if you, especially if you're buying a medicine, milk, water, food, uh, something that you eat, uh, buy it from a branded store. So obviously there are a lot of branded stores in India, so you can just know which is, you can check on Google and see which is a branded store, go there only because uh, unfortunately a lot of duplicacy is there in India. We are expert in making duplicate products. Just by looking at the product, we can make the same product. So that's that's bad, but that's it is improving now, but it is something that you need to be beware of. And the next thing is learn to bargain. Uh, I would advise that try to buy things from a fixed price shop. Otherwise, what you can do is, uh, sometimes you don't get everything in a fixed price shop, so you have to, uh, you know, buy from different places. So here are two simple tips for you. If you go to buy something, if you're offered a price uh, by the seller, just say 10% of that cost, 10% immediately. And then that person may give you the right cost. Other thing is, I mean, obviously it may sound stupid when you say 10%. So if it sounds stupid, then you will know that that person is saying, oh, what are you saying? So you can just try to bargain. Otherwise, it may happen sometimes that they are actually charging you so much that you can cut down the cost to 50% or something like that. Another thing, a very important thing that you can do is we have a tool called mobile phone now. Earlier, we uh, there was no internet, so you could be fooled, but now you can't. So immediately when you try to buy something, you can just open your phone, open Google and go to Amazon.in or Flipkart.com or any under, uh, Indian e-commerce site and you can just check the product. That will give you an idea of what that product uh, ideal, what that product's ideal cost is in India. So you can check that and then accordingly you can bargain, accordingly you can buy the product. And the last tip, it's not a tip actually, it's, it's a request to all the foreigners is to please stop paying to beggars in India. It's a big industry here of beggars and there is a lot of human trafficking and also uh, people who are masterminds of this, they, they are uh, very rich people and they are using this industry even though there are a lot of NGOs helping kids still we have a lot of uh, uh, beggars in India and because this is a big industry and uh, the reason why this industry is flourishing is because people out of their emotions or they get uh, they because of their empathy or sympathy for them they try to pay so I would request when you come to India stop paying anything to the beggars, tell your friends, tell your family not to pay anything to beggars. Now what you can do is, what we also do in our family is that because when someone begs, it feels like let's give something just to get rid of them or uh, maybe because of sympathy we want to give. So what you can do is keep some biscuits, some fruit, something with you, small thing that, that or a toy, small pen, something, I mean anything that instead of money, give that, that ticket. So that uh, you, if if you if you are not feeling like uh, you know you want to give something, then you can do this. Otherwise, just don't pay the beggars. So finally, I would like to say that you are most welcome to visit India. I hope you have a great stay. If you have any questions about India or Indians, feel free to comment, like the video, and if you found it useful, subscribe for more videos like these.